I think we're like 15 kilometers away from Trieste, so it's a big uh, achievement for us. to arrive in Trieste but the landscape forced us to stop every now and again to enjoy the view. First with a town called Sistiana. It seemed like a private town, like a dreamland. Quite impressive. Apparently, well, according to Wikipedia, it was the first Roman settlement in the region of Trieste. Those who came from Aquileia. Suddenly, we found this church by a beautiful spring. We had to stop for some takes. We didn't know, but this river, Timavo River, is the shortest river in Italy. So check it out, this place we found in the middle of the road. It's beautiful. It starts in Slovenia, goes down underneath some caves and springs back over here. The church has its origins back to the 5th century and inside there are remains of an old Christian basilica. Carry on with the trip, we couldn't be happier. Particularly because the way was just downwards. We barely needed to pedal. I mean, literally, even uphill. Well, that was apparently just for me. Eu parei. Por Porque eu tava quase parando a bicicleta. Then we finally made it to Trieste. The first impression was awesome arriving at the seashore. So, welcome to Trieste. Um, the way here was very beautiful. Yeah, there is a castle just behind us. But it's a bit far away, you cannot see it. Yeah. Even though you swipe your fingers. <laughs> um, we have to go through the mountains to arrive in Trieste. So the way was seriously very, very beautiful. Like um, you could see, like uh, both ways, the coast of Italy and the coast of Trieste that leads to Slovenia yes. and Croatia. Interpella. So that was nice. Um, and we were surprised by the sea all the time. Yeah. So there were some viewpoints that we could uh, rest a little bit and uh, check the, the view. We are loving it. The thing is, I don't feel that much in Italy anymore. No, it's not Italy anymore. The little house is colorful Italian style is gone. It's gone, yeah. Uh, this region. Yeah. And the other thing we could see is like the cars, the registration, they, they are from everywhere. From Austria, from Slovenia, from Slovakia, from Germany. Then we really understood what a few meters above sea level means. We arrived here yesterday and it wasn't that long journey. It was a kind of like a pleasant one because the, the bikes were good and the way was all very beautiful. Going by the coast, I just covering some beautiful places along the way. But then we arrived here and we decided to search for a camping. And uh, Guess what? We found the one camping that is still open. And uh, I don't know if you can see that church over there. But the camp, the camping is pretty much over there. And um, of course we didn't know, so we started trying to go by bike. 
and it was like five kilometers uphill like that seriously and um, we couldn't cycle we were just like carrying the bikes on our hands for two hours non-stop I seriously thought about giving up like one million times but uh, there was nothing we could do already like in the middle of the hill and we couldn't leave the bikes behind or so now we are destroyed completely destroyed we don't feel like doing anything but um, tomorrow we leave for Slovenia and we have to do the most of our time here in Trieste so I'm doing the best of my time here in Trieste After a while, convincing Fernanda to walk around Trieste, which, not surprisingly, hadn't made an impression on us that far, we completely fell in love with it after the sunset. And after absolutely loving the city at night, we went back to our camping, this time by bus. Although it was up there in the mountain, the view made our effort slightly better just as likely. Tomorrow we have to cross the border at last. Buongiorno from Trieste. So it's all cloudy, a little bit of rain, enough all day. When is the day that you want to leave? I cycle for about four hours. We don't know what to do. Should I stay or should I go? After breakfast, we decided to take the road to Coppa. After all, we had to be in Scotian Cave in just two days. Well, we're running from the rain, so you had to rush from the campsite because it was about to rain and look at the forecast and uh, the rain would come just on the afternoon and our cycling was about uh, three hours so we had just enough time and it started raining now and we are about to cross the, the border so in a crucial moment we need to fucking hurry I think we get there in about an hour hopefully it's good because we're actually uh, running opposite directions of the rain. So hopefully that'll be it. When it looked like the rain was gonna go, we had to face another problem. Those uphills keep coming to us. Unbelievable. But at least we've saw signs that this cyclopath will take us. Oh my god! will take us to Slovenia. Oh, damn it. Okay, let's go. Watch out. This is the cycleway we're taking, FVG2 to Slovenia. Hopefully no more uphills. We were really excited to cross the border at last. However, things didn't really go as planned. So we're about to get to Slovenia. I'm not sure if this is the border. Whether what the hell it is, but check it out! Yes! Hey! Vem, team! Um, Here we tres, are! Dois, um, Slovenia! Deus, caí na hora! Eu caí, morjo! Volta lá, que esca... Três, dois, um! Even 
even though the crossing was a disaster, we still had to escape the rain. Copper! That's where we need to go. Oh! Oh, I need one flat road again. My legs hurt. How do you feel, Chi? Feel good. Feel good. What were you sitting? <laughs> I didn't like it. <laughs> 